These past two days have been a strange uh, switch around in my life. Um, I went from being the healthy one to the uh, um, political-ish one to the um, health freak more one to the spiritual one back to the health freak one uh, and then now I'm very political again because I've noticed all the stupid shit that's been happening in the world and how stupid the people are and how they're not changing they're just getting stupider so I actually today made these flyers that I'm going to put around my college tomorrow. I got the idea of if no one's going to listen to you on Facebook, delete your fucking Facebook. Why the fuck do I have a Facebook if I'm just going to get mad at the things people post, I'm going to say my opinion, and they're going to argue with me? Why the fuck would I have that? Why would anyone want that? Why do you have a Facebook? Why does anyone have a Facebook? All they're doing is looking what their friends post up. They're liking or they're sharing it with their other friends. But they're never actually seeing their friends. They're never communicating face-to-face -face human communication with their friends. The only time people do that, I'm I'd say, is when they're at school or they're at college. Because once those things are over, you don't ever get to see your friends anymore, actually. Unless it's on a specific, special date because you're either working or you're just busy in life with doing other things. So, that's why people use Facebook so much. It's because they don't get to see anyone anymore. But if you get rid of Facebook, and you just call up the person and say, let's meet this day and see each other this day. Instead of just putting pictures up and watching that person's life, it doesn't make sense. It's disconnecting from reality. So, I made this thing. I don't know if the words are going to be uh, backwards in the screen, but... Yeah. It says disconnect from social media and spend time with the people you really love. I printed up 10 of them. I'm going to, uh, you're not supposed to post things around your campus. They give you, well, if you post something, you need to go to the office and get a little sticker. And all the stickers are the same. So all you really need to do is take a picture of one of the stickers or steal one of the stickers, whatever you want to do. Go into Photoshop. Uh, color the sticker in the color it is, print it up, and stick it on your piece of paper, and then it will look verified. That's what I'm planning on doing, but for tomorrow, I'm going to put these up without stickers, and I'm going to put 10 of them up, so it will take quite a while for them to remove them. But I'm going to put these up just so for that day people see them. I don't have my name on it because I want it to remain anonymous. I want people to just see it, get it in their head, think about it mentally, and I'm going to keep doing this this semester. And I want people to wonder who's doing this. <laughs> and then eventually I'll come out and say, it's me doing this. And then hopefully I can start a group, because in college, I've always thought it's really fucking stupid to start uh, clubs. I thought clubs were so stupid, but, but, now I see why people start clubs. I mean, the Asian club, the Jewish club, uh, I used to always sign up for clubs just to get free things, but, um, I want to make a difference. I mean, the Jewish club, the anime club, the Asian club, the they don't do anything. They gather up to celebrate and do things from that uh, hobby, or that culture. That's all they do. They don't make any changes. They don't do anything different. 
I'm doing this because I want to spread awareness of what's actually happening in the world, what the food we're actually eating, what we're actually eating, what we're actually putting in our bodies, what we're doing to ourselves, what this society is becoming, and what most people don't even realize that's happening. Because the media just fucks us in the heads about dumb shit that doesn't, we don't care about, but we still watch it because we want to see who dates who, or what happens to what, or there's a shooting here, and someone died, and we're supposed to feel bad for that person, when every day, millions of people die. So who gives a fuck about that person who died? We are being distracted in newspapers by stupid shit like this. That happens every day, all the time, and it's not reported ever. But worse things happen that's not put in the newspaper because it's covered up. And we're pretty much just brainwashed and no one's smart enough to just do their own research they just make assumptions and don't bother to look up the research so pretty much eventually I hope to fix things in society I want to make things better and you know what happens to people who make things better in society they always die but you know what if I die and I'm remembered, that's all I care about. If, I'm, if I die and I'm remembered and it makes a difference, that's all I care about. Yeah. I mean, they assassinated so many people for doing good things. They don't assassinate the bad people. I'm going to be one of those good guys. Yeah. You know what they say about the indigo children? Drug them up so they can't be like me. Smart and willing to help other people. I know a few indigos and I'm going to name one in particular, and that is my friend Ben. They say indigos have the hardest lives, and he has actually a really hard life. Um, he lives with his mom and sister, and they're not very nice to him. I don't agree with how they treat him whenever I go over there. They, they're pretty much... Mm, I don't want to use a mean word. They're not friendly to him. Ben could be very, very, very intelligent if he was not, I, I swear Ben's on medication, um, I swear he's on medication, but Ben is very happy, energetic, uh, outgoing, friendly, but he has the occasional um, problem of losing focus on a conversation, in a conversation. He'll be talking to him and he'll lose concentration and think about something else. And and that is the the problem with most indigos. Me, I've overcome that. Um, sometimes I can get distracted, but I take uh, fish oil pills, which increase brain... You just gotta increase your brain health and by eating right and it will it will help. Um, but Ben eats candy all the time and eats sugar and I'm guessing he's on some medication and it numbs him down when he could be up and Ben could be a real strong motivator. He makes friends easily. Um, yeah. I'm also good at communication but I'm more of the serious type. I can be the serious type. Um, ben is not the serious type. I think he could be the serious type if he got shit together more. Um, he 
good. I really have faith in Ben. Ben was, uh, I used to be really close to Ben. But, like you said, life gets separated because everyone gets older. And it gets harder. You have to set up times when you see your friends. Unless you have the exact same time classes as them in college, which is really hard to do. Because everyone wants different classes. Um, so, my focus this semester is not to uh, make friends. My focus is to succeed in my class and spread word of um, the shit that's happening in the world. Not through protesting, through uh, subliminal messaging and NLP and signs. Yeah. Anything you say you can do and put your mind to it, you can do. If you say you can't and you doubt yourself, you won't be able to. So just keep trying and think of a way to get around obstacles and you'll do it. You'll do it. You'll do it. Okay. Goodbye. Anything else I could say? I think my seizure meds are hindering my, uh, since I'm funny, my psychic abilities. And yes, everyone has psychic abilities, but indigo children are born with their pineal glands stronger than normal people. Um, drugs uh, suppress your pineal gland, your third eye, and make your psychic uh, connection weak, very weak. So you aren't smart, you aren't clairvoyant, you aren't insightful, you aren't successful. Um, most of these things happen because teachers and parents need, think they need to drug their kids at a young age, which leads to drugging at adulthood. So these successful people don't become successful so because they're on drugs. But they can be if they get off the drugs. They get a healthy diet. They exercise and they increase their brain speed and brain health. And they will succeed and do great, great things. So, um, <sighs> hooray for the indigos. I forgot what I said in the beginning. Um, oh, I didn't take my seizure meds today in the beginning of the day in the morning. I forgot to take them because my pill case wasn't full. Um, and the, my, my psych, I'm going to call it psych, my psychic, uh, just feeling it in your pineal gland. I, you can feel it, the vibrations in your pineal gland. They were so much stronger compared to me having to meditate or me having to put a magnet there to make them stronger. They were just strong all day and I was smart and clairvoyant all throughout the day until nighttime when I could feel a seizure coming on almost and I think it was just paranoia. I really think it was just me overthinking it of not taking my meds. Thinking if I don't take them tonight then am I going to have a seizure in the middle of the night? If I don't think that way, because I, I didn't think the whole entire day that I missed my meds until 5 o'clock. That's when I realized I didn't take my meds in the morning, and I was fine. I think half of it is a mental thing. Once you take a drug for so long, you can almost play a placebo it, a sugar pill it, and it will probably work the same. Some people have epilepsy that is so bad that it can't be cured. 
it uh, needs either surgery, but if you do surgery, the doctors are going to say take these pills after surgery, and those pills are going to fuck up you, fuck you up more. So, there's no way of healing yourself fully if you go to the doctors. The doctors don't want you to get better. They want you to be better temporarily so they can give you drugs so you can be better temporarily. The doctors want you to be better temporarily so they can keep giving you drugs and they can keep getting money. Got it? Good. Um, if doctors really wanted you to be healthy and be safe, they would give you a miracle pill and it would heal your epilepsy right away. And they already have that, which heals cancer within six uh, months. They have a cancer healing pill, and six people have been murdered mysteriously. All six were taking the same cancer healing drug, which costs $800 um, for six weeks. Six weeks, not six months. Six weeks is $800. And it heals cancer completely, gets rid of it out of your body. That doesn't include the things that can give you cancer again after it gets rid of the cancer cells. Because, like I say, when you detox with borax in your water and you're spitting up mucus, you, every day you're going to keep spitting up mucus because all the things you eat, if you don't have a full-on vegetable diet, you're going to keep spitting shit up because the things you eat have crap in them th that are bad. So your body's going to detox and you're going to spit it out. It's unavoidable, unless you just don't detox that morning, you're not going to spit anything up. It's pure obvious. Obvious. I think I can say that's about it. I'm really tired. I gotta sleep, I got school tomorrow. <clears throat> Goodbye.